Hi, I'm Stimming and this is my instant mastering chain made by Doctrine. In this video, we're going to go a little bit into detail and let's start. So the mastering chain consists of a two-band EQ, low and high, an SSL style bus compressor with the auto release function, the feed forward and feed backward detector path and send return at the back of the machine, so you can use the bass drum for make everything pump. And the VCA from the compressor is used to scream at the pair of Lundahl audio transformer via the drive parameter, which is the most important parameter in this machine. The idea is to um, balance the frequencies with the EQ, keep the signal in control with the compressor and then scream at the audio transformers. And feed backward, it's no problem to go in very high and also to drive the machine very, very high. As the signal is being detected at the very end of the circuit, it doesn't do any difference. It's just being compressed a lot more. So if you want to hear a very pump and very warm compressed sound, then go to the feed backward mode. If you need a more upfront, more punchy approach, use the feed forward mode, but then go in very low. I definitely prefer or recommend to um, start with minus 10 and also go in low with the input. So don't crank up the volume of your machines too loud before you go in here and then use the drive to kind of heat up the signal again. In the short video I say it's very easy to kind of bring punch and loudness to your drums inside the studio setup and that's what we're going to prove. Here I have a little experiment as a studio with a good audio interface and a surface and Bitwig on it. And I had a little idea in here, which I'm going to use in the album later on. And I play a little drum groove. And this drum groove I want to fatten up with the machine. Um, the machine is connected as a hardware effects effect in and out through the audio interface. Let's hear. First, we're gonna just gonna hear the groove how I re I played it. I said I want to use feedback word. Oh, before I do any uh, before I do s something, the true peak is at minus two. The integrated loudness minus twenty point one. So that's what we're gonna beat. Okay. Let me switch it on. We're in feedback mode, that means... Whoa. Peak minus 1.2. No, 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 that's too much. Okay, I switch it off again. True peak, minus 2.7, okay, I go a bit down here. And on. I'm gonna switch off the EQ, and still, minus 18 against Minus 19, okay, that's not too much. I, the machine can do a bit more. Minus 17, woo! -hoo. Against minus 20, so that's nearly 3 dB loudness units more here with the same peak. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. Now, in like the next part, I want to show you how the machine reacts on a real life act. So I want to use the feed forward detector path this time and there's something which you need to know. Um, we designed the machine to be at the very end of the 
specifications. That means you can cross the line to be able to sound quite bad. The trick is to stay before the line. So when you're playing live on stage with this machine, I strongly recommend to hear what you're doing via in-ears or at least with good headphones to be able to really judge what you're doing. So I just change the cables and switch to feet forward mode. And yeah, we'll be back in a second. Okay, here we use the hardware effects input to just monitor what the live set does. And I'm going to use the active and inactive knob to um, match the max out, the peak from this machine versus the pure signal. Okay, here we have a peak of minus 4.5. So that's what I need to reach. And I told you we are in feed forward. Threshold a bit up. Input, go low on the input. Even the output of the blue box is at minus six. And now I drive it. Whoa. It's too loud. Four, four, four point five, did I say, right? Give me more, give me more. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of clipping. We don't want that clipping, so use the threshold to keep the signal in control. Yeah. So active, inactive, active, inactive. Let me show you the EQ. You can reduce the low, of course, you can give it a bit more. Be careful, the low frequency kind of invites the machine to clip. Peak minus 4.5. And if I remove the power cord, because some guy does this by accident, nothing happens. Because there's a real bypass in there. Yeah, this is my instant mastering chain. It's made by Doctrine, and I'm very happy to be able to show it to you. Thanks for watching.